Oh yeah, I still got it. Ugh. Telemarketers. Yellow. It's a me. Okay. Could you be a little bit more specific? No can I do it because of the trademarks. Okay. Well look, you kinda caught me at a really bad time right now. I'm really busy with work. Maybe I could call you back later. Okay. Bye bye. What, you've never seen anybody talk on their zapper before? Oh, you haven't. Well, sit down and get comfortable. I'm here today to make a revolutionary announcement. I have invented a light gun, a phone, and a, a, a light gun. But these are not three separate devices. This is one device. And I call it the zapper phone. You're probably wondering how I came up with this incredible innovation. Well, I just wrapped up a video where I reproduced Alexander Graham Bell's photo phone. That's the world's first wireless phone from 1880. It transmits sound over light. After that, I did a detailed teardown of an NES zapper. Now, both of these devices use a photo sensor in very different ways, but all the same, it seemed like a great combination. Now, if you haven't seen my NES zapper teardown video, join the club. But if you had watched it, you know all about the anti-cheating mechanisms that Nintendo put into this gun so that you can't easily repurpose it. But using what I learned in making that video, I bypassed those measures by directly connecting the hit indicator signal to the photodiode. Because of this mod, the hit indicator now gives me an analog signal representing the intensity of the light striking it. This means I can encode audio into light by modulating its intensity and shine it at the zapper. Then I can feed the signal from the hit indicator line directly into an audio amplifier and the sound will be reproduced. Here is a schematic for the transmitter. It's quite simple. The audio comes in through a TRRS jack from a microphone, phone, or whatever else you want to use. That signal is passed through a transformer, which removes any DC components from the signal. The other side of the transformer is in series with the power supply for the laser. Because it is coupled with the audio input, it modulates the intensity of the laser beam, encoding the audio. As I mentioned, the hit signal from the zapper is already an audio output at this point, although I run it through an amplifier to increase the volume. Let's take a look at the zapper phone in operation. Here is the full setup. And we'll go on over first to take a look at the transmitter. You can see the laser, the transformer, and the audio input. Those are really the only components in this very simple device. And back over here, the laser shines at the NES zapper. So now I'm going to start up the audio input. And we'll go back over to the zapper take a look at it and I'll put the uh, microphone closer and you'll be able to hear it. There you have it, an NES Zapper wireless phone. It's actually quite bad as a phone. The sound quality is really good but you have to have line of sight with a laser and it has to be lined up almost perfectly. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you might like my photo phone and zapper teardown videos as well. And also please consider a like and a subscribe to keep the videos coming. Thanks for watching.